What's up guys, it's your boy Jameka here, coming at you with another deck tech. This is my four color enchantments deck. Um, Single the Empty Throne is one of my favorite cards. Actually, I can think a long time ago, when I first started getting back into Magic, I built this deck, it was based off some like Jerry Thompson list. He was playing like, um, like convincing, like apparently at the time, like blue was like the worst color in standard, so... He was playing this like spreading seeds, convincing mirage deck that would just turn all your opponent's lands into islands. And um, I think I, I don't know if Sigil was in the deck, but I definitely threw Sigil in that deck. And I had a lot of fun. It was it was one of my first forays back in like competitive Magic. I played that, and um, it was fun. So it's like I, I'm glad to see it again here in Penny Drift. I think this is the first time it's legal. I think I don't get fact checking on that, but anyways, um. I wanted to pair it with uh, another funny enchantment, which is Team Ascendancy, which uh, <laughs> you're probably familiar with Team Ascendancy. If creatures get haste, and when a four power creature, four greater power creature comes to play, you draw a card. So this makes four, four, uh, four, four angels. Let's put them together in the craziest four color brew I've probably ever built. Uh, <laughs> it's a really silly deck, but um, it's a lot of fun. I've been having a lot of fun with it. So uh, let's just go over the mana base. Grand Coliseum, we love you. <laughs> this is the hardest working Grand Coliseum of all time in this deck, but uh, I think the mana is about right. Uh, between Evolving Wilds, I have one of every land that I need. Uh, forest, Island, Mountain, and Plains. Uh, more Forest early, because I have more like early green drops. But you need, eventually you need to get double Plains, so Grand Coliseum kind of helps out with that. Uh, Frontier Biomag uh, is a Forest plus the other two lands. And then Sesap Citadel, I do have a black card, just one black card. But I, I figure it's like instant out value because I wanted a green white duel, and then the evolving wilds kind of fetch the rest. So, that. Um, so everything you need in this deck needs to be enchantments. So like I was playing at first like cultivate, or so now I'm playing font of fertility because it is an enchantment and it does ramp you like a rampant. It's basically like a, a rampant growth for like three mana or two mana or whatever. You play on turn one or turn two, you can change rampant growth. That's really important for getting like a turn four sickle out, which is a kind of the linchpin of the deck. Your deck is kind of just built around it for the most part, so... And having cheap enchantments is a good later when you're playing the Sigil, so you kind of want to chain off enchantments. Especially when you have the team, uh, the Ascendancy Sigil combo. Uh, Vessel and Ascendancy kind of digs for whatever you need, a land, a uh, creature, there are a couple of creatures. Enchantment, or no artifacts, no Planeswalkers, but that's good enough. The only non-enchantment uh, cards here are Benefaction Aranus, which uh, finds you a creature and or an enchantment, but there are creature enchantments in this deck, so... For the creature part, you can take a creature, and for the enchantment part, you can take any other enchantment. So that's pretty nifty there. Then Plea for Guidance is a really expensive tutor, but it gets for two things. You can get the single teamer combo, or if you already have single, you can get like cheap enchantments, whatever you need really. Um, for the uh, kind of creature pack, uh, like dealing with creature package, you have Temporal Isolation and Banishing Light. Banishing Light is just a catch all for everything. Uh, welcome Edition. Temporal Isolation is really easy thing to play early. It has Flash, which is really uh, really good, because you can actually make 4 for Angels on the Flash if you need to, so that's a lot of fun. Um, Creature-wise, uh, Boon Sander is interesting. Uh, it is a 4-2, so on its own it, it triggers the Team or 7 c It can kind of just block, I guess. It's kinda, I kind of want to treat it like an Ambush Viper. But if you have this other card here, Riptide Chimera, which uh, bounces enchantments every turn, you can make a funny little like draw package of like, Team or 7 c Boon Sander, Chimera, or when you have Sigil out, this is always guarantees that you play an enchantment every turn. So that's why they're uh, this is in the deck here. Uh, Glitter Subduel and uh, Oath of Gideon kind of also uh, team up for the kind of deal with creatures package. I think like the format right now is really based around creatures heavily, and Glitter Subduel is awesome at taking care of creatures as long as you have cre uh, your own creatures. So Oath of Gideon does that. It makes two one ones for uh, just three mana. You don't have to like pay anything else, it's pretty neat. And it's an enchantment, so good. it combos with a Riptide Chimera, so you can kind of just bounce that over and over. Keep making uh, one ones, and it goes with a Sigil too, of course. You make a 4 4 and 2 1 1, that's a pretty good deal for 3 mana. Uh, we we're gonna talk about Steamer Ascendancy, it's pretty great. This combo is actually like really funny when you get it off. Sideboard has many more enchantments, some non enchantments too. Uh, Sanctimony and Harsh Judgment, which is a card I found, is my kind of like anti red package. Sanctimony is just just pretty strong in general. They the, the good thing about this card versus something like Raiders uh, Realm of Preservation, which is kind of like a uh, uh, circle protection for black and red, is that you don't have to spend mana on this, and they're good in multiples too. So you can play like two Sanctimonies on like turns two and three, and you're gaining two life a turn for uh, every mountain they tap. 
Harsh Judgment pretty much closes the door on anything else. Like, their burn spells are not a, you're, they're not affected by them at all. It's really funny how um, interesting this card is. So um, it's a fun find for me. Uh, Seal of Cleansing, Disenchant, and Enchantment form. Why not? Uh, Aramancer and a Dowsing Shaman are kind of like my kind of grimy package when people are actually ready to deal with enchantments. Like basically just white decks and green decks. So Aramancer and Dowsing Shaman. Uh, they're sort of like a repeatable armaments for the most part. It's kind of like, maybe like more in a control deck. Control is like not a fun matchup, I would say. They can like deal with your like enchantments. It doesn't seem very fun. Mono black doesn't seem that bad, but like blue white, just like white blue base. Doesn't seem terrible. But I have Negate for that matchup, and also Haunted of Skiing wins as a, an extra way just to like kind of recoup cards when you kind of like deal with your stuff. Negate is mostly for a Chromos Vengeance, which is kind of the death knell of this deck. Um, you are also pretty soft to slaughter games because single is pretty much the deck. So I have like another like kind of a different package of like playing another Boon Seder. You can kind of just like try to kill people with Boon Seder, Gideon, uh, Chimera, something like that. But it's not a fun look. I'm not sure what I should be playing. I could play like True Believer or um, the other that Spirit of a Heart that people that give you Hexproof or Shroud. But I think those are like too slow. Uh, Necrogenesis is a one of. It's for like random reanimator decks that are kind of. Rising in popularity, um, and just exiles. There's no other like good card that has this kind of effect. That's in the first four colors that I'm playing, so that's why I'm stretching my enemies just a little bit for black. I have six black sources, so it should be fine. Um, maybe I don't know. Definitely like a turn two play, but if it is, like you know, it's fine. So I'm playing in the league today. Um, all the league matches. By the way, if you're actually interested in playing the deck, there is in the description the the link to the um. To this deck list on pangeofmagic.com. But if you don't want to like, like spoil yourself with the result, just like kind of don't scroll down all the way down. And look at my record, but it should be fun. We have five matches here, and uh, I'm excited. Let's uh, make some four fours and make them all hasty. All right, gonna match with our uh, Pain Dreadful four color enchantments deck. My internet has not been stellar lately, so I hope it all. This completely go away. Oh, uh, the hand. Uh, I can keep this, I guess. Let's throw one vessel into like something. I don't really want to throw one vessel, actually. I think I want the Grand Coliseum in play first. Have all my mana. Now all you do is like something. Use a mana on. Dice gift. Get my opponent some sort of like infinity style mono white artifact aggro deck. That, is a, that seems okay. If I can get like some of my pieces down, I don't think I don't really mind the aggro matchup as much. All right, there's Sigil, so that's good. What am I looking for? Um, probably something to deal with preachers. Sigil, or I'm sorry, vessel. Like banishing light, that's not bad. I, I don't have like untapped white mana yet, but fine to me. Clock is not, I mean, I, I have time to set up this. Red, white, okay. So maybe they're like a Eagles deck? Here's the aforementioned lag. <laughs> I'm feeling. I've been not enjoying magic. Just, it sucks when, like, your internet's bad, and you just want to play. Especially when you've had good internet, and then, like, this starts becoming worse. Okay, here's that. So I think I want to play this. I can cast this and this if I need to. Next turn, I have to play the Evolving Wilds, but I don't draw a white source. So I can play the, the Sigil on 5. 
Like I said, all I have to do is just stay alive. So the thing about all these beagles is that if you kill the one creature, then they can't really do anything. So I'm going to kill the one creature here. What's bad is actually uh, temporal isolation because it's still, it still doesn't really like, um, store it. It actually doesn't like kill the creature. It just like immobilizes it, but it's still crew vehicles. So isolation is not actually at its best here. I'm going to banish like the creature. Hopefully they don't have any more. Eh, just fetch now. They're like giving buffing this here. I'm pretty much set up here. I have all the I have all the cards I need. Um, I have, I have the ascendancy and the sigil. I play the sigil first, and the ascendancy makes that I don't draw a card, but the four four will have haste. If I need to attack. All right, cruiser is good. I actually need to not die for two turns. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to what eight. Like the best card they could have is something that makes like multiple creatures like. A Geist Honor Monk would crew so many things right here. <laughs> or like something like that. That'd be a scary card to see. Wow, this is lag. I'm gonna, stop. I'm gonna try to not complain about lag for the rest of this. Okay, there's the isolation, but like I said, it's not really good. I have to go to 7 for this. This is rough, actually. But it's worth it. Um, next turn, I cast Oath of Gideon. I can make like six power, or cast the Ascendancy. Like I probably am playing the Oath of Gideon because it plays well with the Chimera. That's okay. I cruise a cruiser. If he has like as last guy's a burn spell, this is not good. Okay, I guess this is the most damage. Like the same. They're actually kind of the same. Burn spell, I die. Like a. Okay, cool. I'm not dead. Okay, so I can make a lot of guys do that. Hopefully, it's enough. Bunch of four fours. I might be able to kill him next turn. I draw like a random enchantment. Like a, a one drop enchantment would actually kill my opponent. <laughs> no, he can block with the Sky Skiffs. I think they kind of petered out here. I actually have two 4 fours now, so I can block any Trampler. Uh, the one ones block whatever. If I get a one tap, it's really good. Okay. I'm a single. I can't really cast it right here. Alright, team or ascendancy. <laughs> now I'm gonna get that haste. Let's attack with one guy. Precarious one life. <laughs> Precarious one life. I might pop this. The vessel on the turn. Look for another random enchantment. It, my, my opponent flooded pretty hard. I, I guess I'll take another isolation. Hmm. So I guess I, I only have one white source. That's what stinks. Oh wait, I have the, the Chimera. Okay, never mind. Alright, so... Play the Chimera. It's, a, it's an enchantment. Yes. Okay. okay. I think my opponent's just dead here. Because I can just isolation whatever he crews, whatever Skyskip he crews here. Plus, they have a lot of creep. Actually, it's just lethal anyway. No matter how it. No, I'll say it's a burn spell or something. Something to interact with this. And I have the isolation to like block any sky skiff or make sure he can't really block because he'll oh have shadow. Maybe at a burn spell I will just die. Alright, cool. Hey, I'm at one. <laughs> hey, that's the deck. Alright, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.
Just kidding. <laughs> um, so, I guess Boros Vehicles is what we're dealing with here. But like Sela Cleansing, it's pretty much it. Well, isolation doesn't seem good. So, I'm going to cut a couple of those. And, um, I like all of them. Let's play a Boon Seder. Fine. Boon Seder can just kind of block. Although he is white, so I might want to play Aramancer. Play some Aramancers. Just in case he has like his own like disenchant effects. And, and also combos well with the seal of cleansing. You know what? Let me really a Dowsing Shaman too. Dowsing gonna have like removal spells. Or he's gonna think I have removal spells. Let's try that. Um what do I cut? I guess I cut a riptide. Let's try this. I just wanna try it out. I just wanna see how good it is. That shaman's pretty pretty dope actually. It's, it's gotta be really good with seal of cleansing. That's gotta be like a pseudo lock, a semi lock. All those creatures I saw were actually all artifact creatures. So I, I like this hand. It's not bad. I've also I'll get a white source for. Okay. Oh, also, oh I'm not really gonna play a turn one. Cool. I'm gonna get a planes. So my hand is all white. I gotta, the thing is I really gotta watch, watch out for are things like uh, Shravana Blast. So getting like the five or less life change. Um, I think I'm just gonna like play the Coliseum and Pass. I really have so many three drops that I want um have three mana available. Depending on what he does on turn three. It'll, it'll depend on like my play. Um, freighter. I think I'm just gonna banishing like the the core homunculus and make him have a creature. If he plays another creature, then like you know, this just makes him have to have a creature to crew one of his vehicles. Seal cleansing can get the banishing light. Fine, pretty good. And then he gets immediately crew something like the freighter, which is kind of the cool part about vehicles. It kind of gives your like creature pseudo haste. Also okay because I have another banishing. Light. I'm gonna do. I'm still gonna make the same play. I'm still gonna banishing like this guy. I think it's just the fine, the right play. Could be wrong. Like, the, the Oath of Gain is not good because this thing tramples, so I'd rather just, like, kill this. Actually, i actually play the Font over the Vessel. I want to ramp. I might get... Island? Or another Forest, I don't know. Okay. It's kind of looking like the last game. But I like the Oath of Gideon is not super great. Like I said, he has a bunch of tramplers here. Seal pretty okay, seal's good. I like seal here. Oh really. Yeah, I think I'll just do this. Um I will get Actually I want a second forest. No, I want one of the uh, lands that casts a uh, teamer ascendancy, so I think I'll just get island. Now with the seal just kind of chilling, I I don't feel very worried about anything. Mala, acceptable. So now he basically has to choose which which vehicle he wants. Um, kill. So he's gonna crew the uh, sky. So this is, it, it's the best choice. Cruiser, Apprentice is not a dwarf. This looks for just like dwarf for eagles. Okay, so he gets a he gets a cruiser. That's kind of bad. It's bad for me. I gotta wait till they attack, so they can kind of cruise something if I kill this before. 
But I think they were right at being in combat phase, so it didn't really matter. We're just dead to the cruiser, actually. Ancient Light? That's actually pretty good. It kills the Dapala. Actually, if I play Oath of Gideon, I can just block the Dapala. I block the Dapala. No, it, the Dapala. No, that kills me. I gotta, I gotta banish like a Dapala. So, this, is, this is what happens when you don't have hard removal in your deck. This is my only removal spell, really. Like, I do have, like, seals for this. A lot of cards kill me here. Any creature kills me. Because I think area has the, uh... Okay, then the Dapala doesn't... Actually does kill me. <laughs> Either creature will kill me here. Alright. I still don't have wraths. <laughs> I need kind of wrath effect. What is that good? Is negate good? No. Uh, I'll just stay. I'll just keep it like this. Maybe Dowsing Shaman is a little too slow for this. Yeah. Shaman's probably too slow. Armazer seems fine. Shaman seems a bit slow though. Uh, uh, sure, I can keep it. A little slow. Get an island. I would get island first, because I have, like, Riftide Chimeras, so... Pass that. <laughs> I have... The only red spell in this deck is Team of Ascendancy, so... Just having a mount in your deck in general is kind of weird, but it's kind of a necessary evil when you play Evolving Wilds. Kind of very similar turn one play. I have like 12 of these in this deck. <laughs> Just kidding. There's the mountain. So, Ascendancy on three. Here we go. This is. Wow, you have the same line every time. Okay, uh, I'm gonna play the Oath of Gideon. If I draw like a Sclare of Duel, Glare would be very nice. Glare actually like the destroys this tech, but he doesn't have a seal for it. But at least I'm looking at a Sigil at 5, Sigil at 6, so that seems fine to me. Motorist. Motorist crews the uh, Skyscape, and that's why I get a hit for 3. I said, Sigil the Sigil seems fun. <laughs> as, as long as it survives. If he attacks with this, I'm just double blocking. I I mean, if he has a burst lightning, it's fine. I'll, I'll take that. I'll, I'll, I'll take that for sure. Okay, I I will totally offer this trade. It's like, it's like half a Lingering Souls or something. <laughs> So he's in my Lingering Souls. If he has a burn spell, like, okay. Willing to trade that. Totally acceptable to me. I'd love to see a Chimera here, so I can pick up the Gideon. Okay. Gotta pass. A little sad part. This is kind of the sad part of the deck. F6 this turn. Because my terms are pretty scripted from here. Another Sky Skip. That's fine. I'm only getting hit for three. It's weird to have a vehicle deck. You need like a mix of like good creatures and good vehicles. So I, I'm always curious about what the mix is. I, I, I played vehicles in standard. That was the last standard deck I actually played. Ooh, seals strong. Um, I guess I bait out the the first signal here. It's gonna die, but I have another one, so okay by me. I'd love to drop uh, an untapped land would be very nice. So I can just instantly make a creature with Vessel. Okay, so getting hit for at least five. Not looking too 
too great. They really need to make a creature. The signal needs to make a creature. I could be dead. It's going to be one of those really close games, I think. Okay. Give me another close one. I think he just might have me on the... Just, if I don't draw another enchantment here, he might just have me on just like... He's just going to attack. It's the same amount of damage either way. Grab blast? No? Oh, I'm tapping. Pretty good. Um... This is pretty good. This is a pretty good turn. Does I get to just come up the board, basically? I come up the board and the ground all at once, which is pretty great. I have like two things to block the sky stiff, two things to block the ground. So I, I still dead to a lot of things. <laughs> like a fleet roll cruiser is really bad. Not really, though. No, it, it is. Cause then like I I can't like I could kinda block no I die to escape uh I die to the sky skiff if you drew like a cruiser. Ooh, wow, I'm just my opponent's just flooding so bad. Okay, I'm gonna pop this vessel. Look for something here. Ascendancy is pretty good. <laughs> I'll take the ascendancy. Team of Ascendancy, go. <laughs> I, I think I still have to like just like chill out. But for now, I'll cast the uh, Benefaction. I'll try to find a one drop enchantment. Either a font or um, another Ascendancy. Um, there's also Banish. I'll take the Banishing Light. Banish Light should be game. I'll, I'll draw a card off the Ascendancy. I'll make a guy. I'll kill kill one of their guys. Most likely a flyer. I'm still trying to just like... I'm not attacking because I'm, I'm worried about like... um What do you call it? Cruiser. I'm just worried about a cruiser basically. Apprentice, that's whatever. That doesn't bother me. Dang. They just had all hands. Okay. So let's see what I... This is, this is a good turn. This is going to be a good turn here. This is rough for my opponent. They drew a lot of lands. Any other enchantment will pretty much win the game. Pretty much all any, yeah. Okay. Um all this man up here. Draw a card. <laughs> okay, another banishing light, like, jeez. Okay. All right, they're they're just dead. <laughs> wow, this is this is a crazy. This is crazy when this happens. Okay, this is like basically like the the four fours are just like they just kill permanents. <laughs> also, drew banishing light and the banishing light, which is pretty nutty when you have this nonsense happening. <laughs> Wow, my opponent got honestly. My opponent got really unlucky there. I I think I got pretty lucky. That's that's luck, 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 luck. Okay. 